What's up YouTube? This is Joy Neville back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make dinner for your family and use the same dinner and just change one or two things and have dinner for yourself too. That's like a healthier version, a lower calorie version, maybe a lower carb version for you ketos. So yeah, let's get into the video. Excuse this, I wasn't planning on videoing. I'm in my robe and my jammies but we're about to do this. So I'm making tater tot casserole for my family. I've got um, a big 9 by 13 I think baking dish and it's in the oven with some tater tots. I'm just cooking them for five or ten minutes while I'm browning the meat and then we'll assemble it all and put it back in the oven to cook for a half hour. So let me bring you down to what I'm doing. So right here I've got two pounds of ground beef, some minced garlic, some onion powder, some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, um, and I want to put oregano. Where is it? Oregano. And just do it to your tasting how you like to cook. Season it up guys, always season your food. So this is for my family and I was like, I'm craving tater tot casserole too. I want some tater tot casserole. I have meal prep, but tonight I just really wanted some tater tot casserole. You can always use the cauliflower veggie tots if you want to do that, but they do have some carbs in them and more calories than what I'm about to show you. So to this, we're browning this up I'm going to add some onion. I've got one large diced up onion to add to it. Some salt and some pepper. I'm going to cook this onion down in this for about three, four minutes. And then I will bring you back. I have the tater tots cooking at 375 in the oven just to take the frozenness off and get them slightly cooked. So I'll bring you back in a sec. Remember, we're doing a, a separate version of this. I forgot to tell you guys. So I have a little dish here that I sprayed with olive oil cooking spray, nonstick cooking spray. I'm using one box of this cauliflower bird's eye mash potato. It's cauliflower mash, which the whole box is 160 calories, the whole box. So this is going to make four meals for me, maybe three if I'm piggy. I also wanted a little bit more cauliflower texture in there besides mashed potato. So I have two cups of cauliflower that I put a little water and I nuked it in the microwave. You're going to want to drain the water on the bottom and then you'll use this too. So start getting your cauliflower and stuff ready while you're cooking the meat and the filling for your family's tater tot casserole. You start cooking your cauliflower. If you do not like cauliflower, remember I microwaved both of these dishes. Here's the mashed potato, it's cauliflower, and here's the cauliflower. So these are going to go in my little pan here. If you do not like cauliflower, you can use green beans, you can use broccoli, you can use broccoli tots, cauliflower tots, you can use, what else have I used? I've done this a few times. Um, I mainly have done it with broccoli, green beans, and cauliflower. I've also done it with the tots, but again, that's higher calorie for me. My favorite is the cauliflower or the green beans. But any vegetable you like, you can substitute and put in here. So just go through your cabinet, find a vegetable, nuke it, spray your pan and pop it in here and we'll get to the next step. I would normally use ground chicken for mine, but remember, you're taking a meal you're cooking for your family and you're just altering a couple things to have it for yourself. So therefore, I'm not going to cook a whole separate meat just for me. I'm going to use the lean ground beef. It's 93% lean, this one is. That's what I'm going to use. Make it easy peasy. I'll see you back in a sec. 
Okay guys, I'm back and I wanted to, I wanted to do calories in my head. So I put them on my phone right here because I read the packages. So this mashed one is 160 for the whole thing. Then this, two cups of cauliflower is 40 calories. And then I'm gonna do I'm gonna measure out a half a cup of the cream of mushroom to put in my casserole. And then I'm doing two servings of my fat-free cheese and mine, which is 90 calories. And then I'm doing a quarter cup of corn, which is 30 calories. So in total, this dish is going to be 600 calories. So 600 calories for the whole thing. If you divide that by four... That's what? That's 150 calories a serving. So if even if you wanted to eat half of this meal, half of this pan would only be 300 calories. That's my point. This right here, a serving, has 780 calories. If you use regular cheese, if you use regular tater tots. And a serving for this is only a half of a cup. So big difference, guys. I just wanted to point that out. Little changes make huge differences. So this is all done, the meat's brown, the onions, the garlic, everything's cooked. So to theirs, before I add their stuff, I'm going to separate some meat. Now this I'm just kind of eyeballing, to be honest. I'm trying to get a pound of meat in here, but I don't know if that'll happen. Um, yeah, I think that's about good. Because you want to separate. Okay. Same with the cream of mushroom. Before I do theirs, I'm going to separate a half a cup into mine. Whoa, Nelly. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put this in mine. I want to know my measurements for what I'm eating. That's very important. All right, so now I'm going to put the rest of this cream of mushroom in here. I like to scrape my cans, more bang for your buck type of gal. And then I'm going to do one other can. This is theirs, this is not mine. I should have used a smaller spatula. the best. You can add milk, you can add water, whatever you want to. I'm just adding a little bit of water to make it creamy, get it going. We're also going to add the corn. So I'm going to take out a quarter of a cup, so half of, half of this, which is right there. It's only a few tablespoons. I think it's four tablespoons. I don't need much. Corn has lots of carbs and stuff, so you can opt to leave it out too. Okay. I'm going to get these uh, stirred up and I'll bring you right back. Okay, guys, this is their tater tots. I took them out of the oven. They're about three quarters of the way done. Now I'm just going to assemble. The old me would have done tater tots mix, more tater tots, cheese. I'm trying to eliminate half of those calories for them and get the same result. Obviously they're not on any lifestyle change, diet, anything. They're all pretty healthy. Um, so I'm not limiting, but you know, just a little less potato doesn't hurt nobody. Especially if they don't care. So I'm going to do one quick layer of cheese. And then I should use this. 
I'm going to spoon this and try to get it in one layer all over the tater tot casserole. I think everybody in America has probably made this. And if you haven't, try it. Your family will love it. It looks weird. Um, but kids and men and women, a lot of people love this stuff. My kids grew up on this. Um, my daughter-in-law makes it for my son and my grandbabies all the time now. And there's different versions. I've done taco tater tot casserole with taco seasoning, taco meat, and olives and sour cream and stuff like that. I've done chicken one. I've done this regular country style one. There's, I've done a chili taco casserole tater tot casserole so there's different ones you can do there's so many different versions you do what you like okay we're gonna pop that out of the way even this out because this is not the one you guys came to see We're going to throw the cheese on this and get this in the oven because the one you guys want to see is the lower calorie one. I'm glad I grated a little more cheese. So... Once you get this all coated the way you like, pop it back in the oven. For I've already cooked the tater tots most of the way since I was cooking the filling. It got done pretty quick, so I'm going to say about 15-20 minutes, and this will be completely done. So I'm going to pop that in and set the timer. For 15, and I'll check it at 15. Okay. Now, the one you all came to see, the swap. The lower calorie swap, tater tot casserole. So the first layer is going to be my mash. Remember, spray your pan. Hopefully you guys can see this really good. Yeah, I think you can. So this is the cauliflower mash. I'm going to put this on the bottom as a base, almost like um, shepherd's pie, I guess. And remember, you can use any vegetable you want. If you hate cauliflower, don't use it. Don't be on a health journey you hate. Eat what you love, but find a lower calorie option. My favorite thing to say. Or a lower carb option if you're keto. There's always an option, I promise you. Everybody is trying to do healthier these days, so there's always an option. You just got to look. Okay. There's the first layer. To that, I'm going to add my cauliflower pieces. These are going to be my tater tots. Some of them are really big, so I'm just going to take a little parry knife. Because I kind of want them bite size. I don't know if I want them too big. You want them like chunky texture of tater tots. Cauliflower is an amazing replacement if you're on keto, if you're on low carb, if you're just on a healthy, low calorie lifestyle. Cauliflower is an amazing replacement for like tons of things. I've done chicken wings. I've done potato replacements. I've done, um, I'm trying to think. I've just used this for so many things. Mainly potato or chicken, anything that says oh you need to add chicken or potato cauliflower takes a good good replacement of so layer this i'm trying to hurry so i don't have a killer long video if this is taking forever just fast forward a little guys i never know <laughs> i just appreciate everybody watching and subscribing I really love you guys. You guys are the best crowd ever, and I'm so proud. You guys are telling me how much weight you're losing, how you're getting on your journey, even the struggles. I'm even proud of the struggles, because the struggles mean that you're human and you're trying. I struggle every day, you guys. 
and it's okay as long as we keep trying right like today I'm trying I could have ate the tater tot casserole I refuse to eat that high of calorie option when I can do this so their dinner's in the oven they're done I'm using their same stuff I just measured it out and swapped it that's all I did measured it out and put it in my own little pan so I know how many calories is in here this one's a little more creamier I added a little bit more water to this one so I could get a lot of sauce because I'm a fatty and I like sauce <laughs> Okay, I put a little cayenne in mine too because I like a kick. So we're going to mix that just to get that cayenne mixed in there. And then we're going to top it. I wonder if I should scoop it out so I can evenly do this. So remember, a half a cup of real tater tot casserole that I just made, that recipe was almost 800 calories, almost. This, what did we say it was? 150. And I measured, I weighed my meat after I put it in the pan, and I didn't even have a pound of meat, guys. So it's probably less than that. But I'm gonna stick with 150 calories a serving. And I mean, that's awesome. That's if you use four ounces of meat per serving. 150 calories. I could eat half of this for 300 calories, like. You can pig out and lose weight. Spread the news, guys. You can pig out and lose weight. <laughs> you just have to eat lower calorie options. Eat a little less. <laughs> Portion it. Okay. Now, remember, I'm not using their cheese. I'm using my fat-free craft. I get this at Walmart. I'm sure Fred Meyer, Kroger, Safeway, Albertsons, all those stores have it. I use this for my cream of mushroom, but I'm going to use it again. A fourth a cup is 45 calories. I'm going to have a half a cup for 90. So it's measured in here. Some people don't like the fat-free craft because they say it doesn't melt. I've never had a problem with it not melting if you're adding it to a fat. That's a little bit over, but that's okay. So we're adding on this ground beef and gravy. It should melt just fine, right? Or cream of mushroom, I mean. Um, when I make it in wraps, if I add a little spray, which was a tip from the Coleman's, um, it works great. So add it to a fat or add a spray to it and it'll work just fine. I probably should have rinsed this out and I got cream of mushroom everywhere. Okay, anyways, that'll melt. It'll be fine. There it is, guys. I'm going to pop this in the oven too for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. We'll check on it and I'll bring you back when it's done. All right, guys, fresh out the oven. This is their tater tot casserole. I let them sit for like five minutes before I cut into them because they're piping hot, and hot cheese is fire. <laughs> so they're sitting now to cool. They're very cheesy, very yummy. My fat-free cheese melted. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it worked just fine. Don't hate on the fat free cheese I sprinkled the little green chives on top one it's pretty and it makes it enticing to me and two I love the flavor of chives so yeah that's mine that's theirs and I'm gonna let these sit like I said for a few minutes and then I'll cut into them and serve them with a veggie they're having green beans um, with theirs I'm having my meal prepped broccoli and um, Brussels sprouts that I air fried earlier in the week on my meal prep. If you haven't seen that, go check out that video. It's two videos before this one, I believe. So I'm going to have Brussels sprouts and broccoli that was in the air fryer. It's in my fridge. I'm serving it up over there. And then I'm going to have a serving of this. This is four servings for 150 calories. If you want to eat half of it, it's 300 calories if you want to eat the whole freaking thing because you just want to go ham it's 600 calories one small little cup of tater tot casserole over here is almost 800 calories so that's why I opt to make changes I wanted tater tot casserole tonight so I just went to my freezer grabbed some cauliflower and my fat-free cheddar and made my own version and it's way less calories that's all you have to do guys this is all you have to do to lose weight 
make small changes don't make it difficult do not make it difficult don't overthink it be back for the taste test and the plate up all right guys here it is and it held together like tater tot casserole I'm impressed because I thought it would be like a little separated I've made this a couple times before and it wasn't held together so I feel like the cauliflower mash maybe on the bottom I don't know helped it anyways there's a close-up so I've got air fried broccoli and Brussels sprouts with seasonings that I meal prepped I just pulled out the fridge and microwaved and then I have my serving 150 calories of cauliflower tater tot casserole let's go in for a taste test I'm gonna scoot you guys back because I look like a hot mess today <laughs> okay Let's go in, let's go in. I know it's still gonna be hot even though I let it sit. It's so cheesy. It's steaming. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Mm. You guys, I need to make this for my friends. I need to make this for my friend Cindy. I need to make this for my daughter in law. I need to make this for my sister in law. It's been like a year since I've had this, and I forgot how good it is. To be honest, I think when I made it last time, I didn't use the cream of mushroom. I used everything but the cream of mushroom because I didn't even want the calories from the cream of mushroom. But I started realizing you can't be that picky. Like, this is the rest of your life. You just got to try to make healthier options. And if you're someone that doesn't like processed canned food, you can make cream of mushroom. That's a winner. 100%. Okay, I look crazy, so I'm getting off camera, but I love you guys. I didn't even plan on doing this video. This is just gonna be thrown in somewhere in the week. Um, so you will see it later. But I wanted to show you guys, like I wanted tater tot casserole. And I knew I was not going to eat my meal prep in the fridge tonight. They were having tater tot casserole. I knew I was going to end up scooping some out of the pan and eating it if I didn't make something for me. So this is totally, totally going to take my craving for tater tot casserole. Away. It tastes just like it. The only slight difference is obviously the texture of cauliflower versus the texture of a tater tot slightly different. But it doesn't taste like cauliflower at all. I'm going to have my husband try it when he comes up to eat his. I'm going to have him try mine first. Anyways, thank you for watching. I love you guys. This is a video about swapping certain items to make a healthy, low-calorie dinner for yourself or a low-carb dinner for yourself. And your family can still eat what they want. And then you can eat what they're eating. You just swapped a couple items out, a couple ingredients. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned. I have a lot of things coming up. And yeah, as always, say something nice to someone. Share some positive vibes. Help someone out. Ladies, let's give each other love. Men, let's give each other kindness. We all need to show a little affection these days. People need it. You know, a little, a nice, do a good deed for someone this week. It'll make yourself feel better and it'll make somebody else feel great. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And until next time, mwah, 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 mwah. love you guys. Bye.